Yeah, hi people. So in this section, we will be talking about promise all settled function. So the promise all settled stated method takes an I table of promise as an input and it turns a single promise as an output. This return promise fulfills when all of the input's promises settle, including when an empty I table is passed with an array of objects that describes the outcome of each promise. So basically, promise all settle, similar to promise all, takes list of promises as the input, and then uh, it turns when all the promises are fulfilled, and the returned array is hold in the, uh, at each index, it is hold in the response of each of that particular promise, promise in the particular index, similar to promise all. So it takes a list of promises, and it turns the list of responses of them. If we talk about the syntax, then the syntax is simple, like just have uh, used this promise but all settled method and pass an I table, uh, which is a list of promises to it. Parameter and I table such as array of promises, and it returns a value. It returns a promise that is already fulfilled if the I table pass is empty or asynchronously fulfilled when all promises in the given I table have settled, either fulfilled or rejected. The fulfillment value is an array of objects each describing the outcome of one promise in the I table in the order of promises pass, regardless of completion order. Each outcome object has the following properties a status listing either fulfilled or rejected indicating the eventual state of a promise value only present if status is fulfilled value that promises promise was fulfilled with reason only present if the status is rejected the reason that the promise was rejected with so the key difference between the promise all and the promise all settled is promise all it turns immediately whenever any promise get rejected but but promise all settled wait for all the promises to either get resolved or rejected and then it turns a complete response like it may be a case like suppose there are three promises passed to the promise all settled and one got rejected but it will not stop at that point. It will wait for all other tools to get resolved. And once everything is resolved or rejected, then it will return a single result output, which will have two resolved promises and one rejected promise. Irrespective to promise all, it simply returns the rejected promise. So example to this would be this. Yeah, we can see we have passed three promises to our promise all to this uh, little. One is the promise is all 33. Uh, there is a promise that we have waited using set timeout, which will resolve after after 99 seconds, uh, which will resolve after zero seconds. And thus, and this uh, is heard as a 99 number. And fourth is a rejected promise. So had it been a promise all, then since we had one rejected promise, it, it sort of simply returned a rejected promise. But now we are using promise all settled. So it will return all the four promises with the respective output. Like the first value is 33. So we got value as 33. And in the second, after timeout, we will get 66. So we are getting 66. And third is simply a 99. We are getting 99. And fourth is a rejected promise. So we got a rejected promise with the reason and and uh, like in case of fulfilled we are getting a value but in case of rejected we are getting a reason and the reason is the value of the uh, reason is the error message that has been passed in the rejected promise so this is pretty much a promise all settled promise all settled so to do that i can take the reference of promise all and just copy and paste promise all test file rename it to promise all settled sound settled rename it rename it to promise all settled dot test and in this i can simply delete my promise all method and replace my promise all with promise all settled promise all settled let's replace it yeah so everything got replaced now let's Save the file and end the test and see what all is passing. So two tests failed. Now let's see one by one. What is the problem? First one failed. Why? Because we are getting all the resolution. Okay, so we will be getting the object. Okay, so basically promise all settled returns object. A promise all does not return promise all settled does not return simply value. It returns an object which has two tints, status and value. Not just values. So if that's the case, then I can just confirm my result to get just a value. You can say result, result dot value. Yeah, now let's just try in this test again and see, see whether it passes or not. How many are filling? Two are filling. Now let's see. I'm just trying to take out the value out of the object. Out of it. Well, now let's see. Yeah, our first one, first test pass. That is fine. Now the data set is filling it. It's all on a delay problem. So in this also, I think. So before that, you can also embassy digits on promise. 
if one's get rejected right then only that will go into a and rest i think still will come here so let's see if i do constant results what happens yeah so our first test is fine in the second test we are basically uh we are using promise all but in this we are our first will resolve our second will reject and third will resolve so in our results i'm expecting i should get first and third because they are resolved and in the second one it is going to reject it so i should be getting a so let's see if what i get if i expect i expect my results and like i would be getting the results object right so i would be map just taking out a value out of it so i can say result equals to result dot value and my value should be to equal to and i where it should only have the result of promise one and promise two since they are the only ones which got result you can say value one now let's send a test again and see whether everything is passing or not or this test is particularly okay i think i did something wrong it should be value three right okay so here i'm getting okay so i was expecting value two right value two is not coming instead undefined and value three is coming right so for this it will give undefined like still it would be on the same index but this would be undefined and this would be value three let's see now this uh, second is rejected right so it is showing a so in the value it will be doing undefined let's see if now only one test should fail so yeah i well, this test passed right here the uh, the first is giving us value which is fine the second is suggested so it will go in a catch part but uh, in the uh, so uh, here in the results part this will be undefined since it's going to the catch part and then the third thing will give us a value three so in this way we will get the corresponding outputs i have just formatted the code this one is fine and then now come into our third test and this we are saying would be able to resolve all delete promises right so here also i would be getting a value one from first after 1000 milliseconds and 100 and value two from this and value three from this but yeah like i would be getting the object so i have ty again type cast it uh, again not not type cast again i have to basically convert it to or basically map it out the value only out of it right? because we are only concerned about the value and here okay so if i one more thing i can test is like here i can have one more expect where i can actually play with status so in, in this case my all my status should be fulfilled right so i can simply say dot status and i can pass status to be fulfilled in all the cases so i can have this thing here this thing here and this thing here fulfilled right and same thing i can have it for here also in the first second test where one is ejected so here we have to see the ejected one should give us uh, ejected in case of fulfilled so let's see whether we are getting that or not i can place this thing here also i can say so first is fulfilled which is fine but second is ejected so i should be getting ejected here so i can say i can change this to ejected and the last one is fulfilled so yeah now let's see whether these test pass or not yeah so all the tests passed but still we will see be seeing test one by one so till this we saw this also we saw like we were getting these three values and i'm taking out the corresponding values and each of them is fulfilled right so that's why i'm getting fulfilled till this it is correct now come into our api calls test first is the happy part test where all three api calls will give us the right output so we're just checking the length so this is fine and one more thing i can i i think i can check is this i can use the same thing like since all are fulfilled right so my result should be all of them should be fulfilled so i can just also test this here or two i can say length is three that is fine but the data should also the status of, um, of all of them should also be fulfilled that i am checking <laughs> let's see yeah cool so everything is fulfilled and now come into the last test in which one api calls fails because the link is wrong so this will give us the ejected output or an other should pass as of now i'm not testing anything here right so let's see what i will get this time it is still ejected so still i should get something here right so i can say let's just copy this thing from here so now since this three promises one second one is failing right and so i say i can say i right, the status of first should be fulfilled but the second should be rejected because it will fail the long wrong link is there so i can say rejected and the third one should pass let's see now if i run this test whether it will pass or not and my add to be null okay and not only yeah, add we will get that is fine we will again check the air also let's just have a test for air too and see what we are let's just console the air first and then we will see what to test in the air, i think i can say console dot log i can say uh fine 
Then all the test again. Yeah, everything got passed. That is good. Cool. This is this fine. One last thing I check. I can test it. I can first delete all the other promise all and just see what I am getting in the uh, part of the test. I can go here and delete this. I can go here and delete this. Now there is just a single console log which is printing the uh, pass. I'm just testing what I am getting in there uh, so that I can somehow test this uh, scenario too. Just trying to console log that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is something been print? No. In that console log is itself not called. I can remove done. I think done is not been used anywhere. I can also console log data. Okay, so data is giving me fulfilled for first, which is fine. And the response rejected for setting second, which is also fine because the link is wrong. And fulfilled for last, so that is fine. Till this, it is fine. What is saying? I forgot to wait for something, right? I think in promise all, I'm directly getting the output in the then only. It will not go in the catch. Let's see once this test where we're actually expecting something. Are this is the error called or not? So that is a catch. I think in the promise all does not throw any error. It simply returns the rejected promise. I'm thinking that. Let's see once with the help of this. You can say error uh, rejects all. I can, I can rename this too. Don't rejects all if one promise gets rejected. Instead, return all all the responses with their state. So if I, I'm thinking if I remove this also, right, then also nothing will fail. I'm just trying to console log AI. I think the AI has never, never been called in promise all set. Let's see. Again, I think this is not called. So let's let's try this. I can change this into something wrong. I can say one, two, three, but actually I'm getting AI. Let's see. But if it does not fail, so that means the AI part is itself not called in the case of promise all. Yeah, that's cool. The, I think so in the promise all we are not so in promise all settled we are not calling the catch part like whatever response we are getting we're getting as a part of this result so if it is rejected also then i'm getting the the results map so it's rejected and the results i only i'm getting the particular rejected one it will not call the catch statement so this i can remove from here I can remove this catch from here I can just search the catch and I can remove because there's no sense of calling the promise catch in promise all. So I can just remove whatever catch I have because no error is happening in any of the tests. I'm just getting the rejected response as a part of this. And the first one is this one. I'm not rejecting anything. Now let's just end the test once again and see. Okay, my bad. Like make request will give us the error, but other things will not. Make request, I'm making an API call, right? So this will give me error, but the promise all does not require. So now something will. Let's see what failed. Let me remove first the track hash block from here and see. Yeah, so all the tests are passing. Now let's just remove the console log. Cool. Just let's see once again visit the catch and see. Move the unwanted catch. Like this all for this also, nothing is catched, right? So I can remove the catch from here too. Any more, any more catch? In this make request, I can keep the catch because I'm actually making a pay call and if a pay call fail, then it undigested promise. So this will do that. We need catch here. Yeah? STR. In the make request, we need catch. Else the promise all settled, we don't need catch because it does not return any error. It simply returns the rejected promises that are as a response of the list of promises. Yeah, so pretty much all tests are passing and there are no console error than one. So we are done with this. Yeah, hi people. So in this video, we will be actually implementing our own promise all settle function. As per the old videos, we know it. All settle function returns and objects. Each represent in the outcome of a promise. The each object has two properties, uh, uh, which is status and value. And in case of fulfilled, the, uh, the status is fulfilled. In case of rejected, the status is rejected. And, and even if uh, one promise is rejected, we still return all the responses with the corresponding status. So this is pretty much promise and all, uh, all settled. We saw this in previous, we wrote down these tests in the previous videos. So now we will actually code our promise all function. So we can use, we can, in this video, we can code the promise all settle function on the same promise class object, promise class only. So I can say this dot prototype and I can code my own, my all settle function. So what this function accepts, as we can see here, it accepts a list of promises. Like we are passing the list of promises here, right? So I can make it pass list of promises and like a promise all only returns the promise as a response. So I can simply say return new promise as a response all. And this promise method has promise all uh, 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 takes two, uh, takes a callback as an input and that callback function has resolve and it uh, did callbacks as a parameter. And now inside this promise all return, I can code my logic. I can say, I can first create a results, results uh, to store the results of all the promises. And then I can also maintain a counter, count my promises, which have been resolved till now and start with zero. 
continuously. And then I can just run a for each loop on my promises. So that one by one, I can resolve each promise value pass to my promises. I can name this as promise only. Okay, so now I can explicitly type uh, convert this promise object to promise because in some cases we can pass the direct value also, right? Like in this, I think in some tests we are passing the direct constant value also. So to handle that, I can making converting into promise makes sense. Like here you see, I'm just passing a string. So I have to explicitly convert whatever value is being passed in error to promise. So I'm just trying to convert that here. I can say promise dot is all. I can simply pass the promise I got from there. And then I can wait for it to get resolved. So this promise which I passed can either resolve or I can either get rejected. Let's first handle the resolve case. Here I can simply say whatever I can, uh, whenever I need, get any response, I can just update my results thing. I can say results dot something. I can say counter and I can make it equal to what? I can make it equal to my result. And I can do counter plus plus, right? And, and there may be a case that promise is a yielding or rejected output, right? Like in case of this case of site rejected output. In that case, I can handle it with using the catch and the catch I can have that rejected uh, message and I can again have a function here again have a callback uh, I have a function declaration here and I can just get my results or I can do it in this way too I can simply have counter plus plus results uh, this time it doesn't have okay so one thing I forgot like uh, if uh, like uh, it is different from the promise all here we instead of just a value we basically store a complete object and that object has a status first thing is status since i am in then statement so it is there will only come in uh, then when the promise which has been looped has been fulfilled so i can just have a fulfilled statement here I can say fulfilled right i can fulfill just have single l so i can make it as fulfilled and the status is this and the second thing is would be the in case of a valid fulfilled it would be the value and in case of this it would be the ejected reason let me just copy and paste this here too and let's just increment the counter from here only delete this line here also i'm doing it from here only and now here the status is ejected in case of catch and in case of this the value would be the actual value so if i want to rename this i can rename this to value only so i would be getting the value so my key and value would be value only like this can be in this way also but i'm using a new ECMA script syntax to basically simplify it and just have the value like it automatically creates a key with the same variable name as value and the value would be the actual value in the variable so i think this much is fine and here catch basically in catch in case of rejected promise, we have to pass the reason. So I can I can use the reason. So here the reason would be the key and the value would be the value inside the reason variable. So I can just have reason here. So this is pretty much my this thing. Now one more thing, when all my promises are either resolved or rejected, then I have to return back the result also, right? So for that, what I can do is, I can simply say promise not finally. And in this, I can, like in finally will be called uh, every time either then or catch is called. If it is uh, uh, is all, then then is called. If it is rejected, then catch is called. But in both the cases, finally will be called. And finally, I can have that if check to say whether uh, all the promises are resolved or not. So I can simply have a call back here. And I can say if our counter size has become equal to the length of promises, Promises that has been passed, like I'm talking about this promise here, then the total promises that it has been passed as an input to this my all settle function, then I can simply have to return the result. So I, for that, I can use this new promises all method to simply spit out the result to my outer world. So I can say result here. And in no case, I'm going rejected. So I can just remove this rejected parameter from here. Like in case of I am not promised uh, my uh, uh, and this all settle function never returns a rejected promise. It will always return a is all promise just that it will tell you like in the list of promises which uh, not fulfilled and which got rejected with the reason and the correspondent values so that will happen but it will never reject altogether i promise so rejected is not required only this much is required and i think this would be pretty much my promise as all if i'm not wrong let's see whether this thing will work or not I can just delete empty spaces just format the code uh, now let's see but I, all my tests will pass with, uh, with our only own created my all settled function or not. For this to test, I can simply replace this promise all settled function with, or uh, I can simply replace this with my my all settled function. Let's see 
after changing this it will pass or not so i will place in all the five places so in my first chest also i am using my all settled in the second where one is ejected and another two are other as well they also i am using this my all settled then this this set timeout one promises where some promises are coming after certain delays or so they also i am using the my settled function and then in the api calls also i am using this my all settled function and in the api calls in which one api call will get they also i am using this my all settled function so i am hoping all the test will pass with the with our own implementation of my all settled all settled function let's see whether it passes or not and voila yeah all the test pass so yeah we can say our my all settle implementation is working perfectly fine so in this way we can implement our my all settle or promise all settle function yep thanks thank you thanks all for watching this video mm -hmm.